I sure am loving this, guys. Palantir stocks up yet again right now. It's about, what, noon on the East Coast, right in the middle of the day. And we have Palantir up over 3%, over $32 per share. So we have to break down the charts here as, again, it's the middle of the day on Friday. And I want to break down some big investor that just bought a lot of Palantir stock. They just increased their position size by, I think, a thousand percent or something crazy like that so guys hit the like button make sure to subscribe and don't forget to get up to 20 stocks from mumu with at least a 100 deposit use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash mumu and of course that is an affiliate link it helps out the channel i appreciate you guys as always so again use that link or go to stocksurfest.com slash mumu and with that being said cheers let's dive right into to the video so ken griffin have you guys heard of ken griffin well the the citadel uh, citadel advisors guy uh he has about 400 million dollars of assets under management so guess what he has to file a 13 f filing and we get to see all the stocks he has what he's buying selling this that whatever and he just bought a lot of palantir in his fund here right in uh citadel right so let me show you this he bought 5.2 million shares and granted there's a lot of movement in in this uh you know in this portfolio if you will there's a lot of movement millions of shares bought sold every single quarter i'll show you his top 10 stocks real quick here in a second his top 10 moves shall i say because a lot of them are uh you know options plays but we can see here palantir do you guys see right in the middle we can see he bought 5.2 million shares an 1100 percent increase in his position size so he's really beefing up uh palantir right uh really beefing up that one uh, wait, am I reading the right freaking line right here? I'm losing. Uh, yeah, 1100% increase. And now it makes up, a, it's a small amount. I mean, 0.03%. I mean, there's a lot of freaking positions in this guy's uh, portfolio. But the, the point is, he's buying millions of shares, right? Market value of what? $148 million. Millions of millions of dollars. So he's paying attention. Some of the big boys... Well, a lot of them are already paying attention, obviously. But Palantir has been crushing it, excelling through the weakness that we've seen in the stock market the last couple of weeks. And it's it's on people's radars. People are buying the stock. And eventually, like I said, the cherry on top here will be the S&P 500 inclusion, which is coming at some point. So, yeah, we just got that news Ken Griffin, Citadel, they're buying. And by the way, these are all of their uh, top holdings. Uh, I guess we'll filter by market value. I mean, this is not really relevant to the video, but just to give you guys an idea of kind of how they're positioning themselves right now. So top holdings are puts on SPY and Triple Q. Uh, then we have a call on SPY. Uh, we're not going to get into the details there, but then we have a call on NVIDIA with a put on NVIDIA. Um, call on Triple Q here, call on Tesla, call on Apple. So a lot of calls, a lot of puts, some option strategies going on here. Uh, so really his top 20 plays right now, guys, are all uh, options plays. Uh, then we have some S&P 500 here. So a lot of, uh, a lot of interesting stuff going on in Citadel's, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, hedge fund, right? I almost forgot the term there, but yeah. What do you guys think about that? That's some news here around Palantir. Pretty interesting. And again, we're just continuing to break out here. And that $33.50 target that I laid out, what, a couple of videos ago, even before that we talked about it, that looks more and more possible as time goes on. I mean, guys, if I pull up this uh, you know, chart, you guys can see here, we're already in the mid 32s for Pete's sake, guys. We're a dollar away from that point. So we're looking very good on the 20 day, obviously, you name it. Every time frame, four hour chart, we're breaking out. Nobody's denying that. And on the max chart here, let me show you guys this again for maybe the new viewers out there. By the way, if you're a new viewer, let me know in the comments. I'm actually curious if this is the first time you're watching 
one of my videos, say first time, drop first time watching or something like that in the comments. I appreciate you guys. As always, I'm just curious, but look, $33.50 to about $33.80, $34 per share. That's where we peaked out at. Looks like in November of 2020. So we're talking almost four years ago. So if you put it that way, it's nuts to think that Palantir is actually not even where it was four years ago. Uh, but now this go around as we're getting back to 30, 40 bucks per share, guys, this, this Palantir is a much stronger company. Fundamentally, EPS is rolling in revenues growing very, very, uh, you know, bright future for the company where, uh, whereas four years ago, things were still good, uh, but a little bit more murky than they are right now. Right. So we're heading back to the 30, $40 range as a much stronger company fundamentally, which leads me to believe, call me crazy, but we're getting ready to break out of that point at some point above 40 bucks later on down the road, right? So PLTR 33.50 to about 38, 40 bucks is a big spot on the chart here. That'd be the next uh, gap to fill if we you know, start breaking 33.50, 34 bucks. So I'm loving this, guys. I'm really loving how we're, uh, we're looking right now. And I'm long, obviously, if you guys can't tell. And I'm holding on. I'm not buying more per se here. I sure as heck I'm not selling. I'm just holding on to my position. So what are you guys doing? I'm actually very curious. Let me know down below in the comments and run the likes up. I challenge you guys 150 likes on this video. Can we do it? Come on, run the likes up and don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 50,000 subs. And I feel like by the end of the year, by the end of this year, we can do it. So make sure you guys subscribe and let me just run through some other stocks uh, that I'm looking at here. Amazon, I'm sure you guys have seen, is bouncing back pretty nicely off the lows. And by pretty nicely, I mean very nicely. We're up like 30 bucks almost off the lows or about 17%. And now Amazon's approaching a critical spot on the chart, which to be honest, I wouldn't mind if it got uh, rejected here because I'm also long Amazon. I wouldn't mind uh, it going lower so I could buy more. But hey, we're approaching a big spot. We're at it right now at the top of this channel. So if we're able to get out of here, guys, uh, more upside could come. We're also right under the 180 SMA on the four hour chart at about 180, 183 bucks per share. So that's a big spot that if we break again, more upside uh, could be coming right around the corner. So keep your eyes on Amazon. We're pretty much at break even right now on the day. It looks like AMD's trying to break over a critical spot. We've covered this in recent videos. Well, actually, it is now uh, starting to break out of this 143 level. But look, we're approaching a big moving average resistance at 153. That's going to be a big spot uh, if it's able to get out of there. Maybe more upside towards uh, you know, mid high 150s, maybe higher. And full disclosure, I'm also long AMD and I'm down slightly on this stock. I am down slightly, but I think uh, over the next couple quarters, I'll be up uh, my position. That's my bet, at least, uh, or else I wouldn't be in the shares right now. But yeah, guys, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments about Palantir, the markets in general. It looks like actually the indexes now in the middle of the day are slowly going green, which I guess is good uh, for the bulls in the short term. So what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to sign up to my free mailing list if you want me to send you my top three stocks every single Monday morning and snag up your free stocks from Moomoo, up to 20 stocks with at least a $100 deposit. Guys, use that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash Moomoo. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you all in the next video.